Sunsama and Morgan. They both look like suns with their app logos. It's kind of cute. Putting them right next to each other, it's like, ah. You guys are like almost the same logo, but they're very different, but also sort of similar applications that I wanted to dive into because I am a huge fan of both of these applications. Full transparency, I have affiliate links for both. I've tried both and they're both pretty dang good, but which one's better for you? First of all, Morgan is a calendar app that can serve as a daily planner due to the fact that it has a bunch of awesome integrations with things like Todoist, Google Calendar, Outlook, and also has native tasks within there. And then, Sansama is a little bit more expensive as you can see with the $16 a month if you go for the yearly plan versus you know four to nine for Morgan. You might immediately be thinking, all right, well, I'm just gonna go with Morgan, it's cheaper. You may wanna check out Sansama for some of the crazy integrations and features that it has because pretty dang good. Now, one of the really cool things about Sansama is that it actually wants you to do a sort of daily review whenever you get into the application and a wind down routine at the end of the day. I don't really like doing that, but it's cool for people who want to do that. And as you can see, this application has a very of different integrations. We got Google Calendar, we got Todoist, we got their own in-app objectives, we got a backlog spot, we even have an archive. And then if we look at other integrations that exist, GitHub, Jira, Trello, Asana, Gmail. Gmail one's pretty cool because it can take your emails and turn them into tasks. So as you can see right here, I just got an email from Anchor talking about the Anchor wrapped for the year and I could obviously open this in Gmail and take a look at it or I can go back here and I can configure where you can mark things as read, move to trash, archive, all these different things based on what you do with the email. And you can also add multiple accounts within here. So say I were to take this and say, I wanted to complete this task today. It's really nice and simple. You can snooze it for a day move it to the backlog, change the date right here. And you can also move it between different channels. So this is specifically in the Rise Productive channel as that's like the email I'm pulling it in from. So you can switch between your inbox, all these different things within your email, and then assign tasks to it. Same with how you have it with Todoist. You can quickly take tasks like that, drop them in there, and it has a native task function, as well as having a calendar integration. So if we go to calendar here, you can see that it pulls everything in like this. There's obviously a daily View as well. There's a three day view, which is nice. There's a one day view and there's even a monthly view. Now within Morgan, you actually have a myriad of different options as well when it comes to your calendar views, because this is sort of a calendar app first, but it can be a daily planner. Both of these apps have mobile apps that are in beta. And as you can see here, you can make separate lists for different task management. And what I really like about this is the fact that you can take this, plop it in here, and it can turn into a recurring task on your calendar. So mixing the calendar with the recurring task is sort of a nice time blocking trick that a lot of other applications aren't gonna let you do. Right here, if I make a new thing within this, you'll see that I can drop it to a specific channel on here and you can choose what calendar ends up going on. But what's very interesting is that this one does the same thing, but it has that like checkbox associated to it. So let's do an example task, which can be repeated in both circumstances. You can add Google Meet conferencing, but it doesn't have that same type of like checkbox on the calendar, which, you know, is up to you, but it does show up in the task section on that specific day. So you can see as we work through this more and more, they actually are decently similar applications. However, you're not able to do Gmail and integration jet in Morgan, but what you are able to do is have scheduling links. So this is something that is definitely unique to Morgan. So if I click on my booking page, I copied up my clipboard and I show you this here, you'll see that I have a nice quick sync booking page. And what this does is it allows people to book times with me to schedule meetings at the times that are available. And the way that was easily able to be set up was that I can go here and if I created a scheduling link, I can then slot different times that I'd want people to be able to book times with me. And this is a extremely unique because it's one of the few daily planner apps that allows you to make like the booking link th situation. I know that Akiflow has like, you can send availability slots, but people can book it so easily here. And I can make a new slot right here, save and copy link, and then people could call me from any of those times on Saturday as well. So now when I refresh this and I go into here, okay, Saturday's an option too. I really do appreciate what Morgan is doing. In full transparency, I, I actually am sort of partnered with Morgan in a way I do make videos on their channel. But here's the thing, I did that because it's the main calendar app I use, because I think it's aesthetically pleasing. I think the functionality keeps improving. I know for me, 
I don't use Notion Consulting booking links with Morgan because they don't have like payment options yet and they don't have like really good connections with Zapier yet, but they're working on that. The founder is awesome. And the Sensama people are great too. So both of these apps look decently similar or both really nice to work in. And it's all kind of about what the minor preferences that you have are and whether maybe you care more about having your inbox in here or having your booking links as an option too. What are your thoughts on this? And what are your thoughts on this video on how to improve your productivity even more?